In this video, I'm going to be revisiting the best equipment in the guild before leaving the guild training. Now, this video is going to be specific to Fable Anniversary in particular, so if you have the normal Lost Chapters version of the game, it will not actually work. Just for the sake of this video, we are starting out at the very beginning, so I can show you guys that, like, yes, you can do this very beginning, nothing else, no tricks. It's all pretty simple, actually. So, yeah, I'll, I'll meet you guys back at the guild because there's nothing really to do here until we get to the guild, so... Uh, I'll actually skip all the way forward to the teenage years because we do not need we do not need anything as a kid. So see you guys when we're a teenager. All right, so now that we are a teenager, we can get on to the actual part of the glitch. Now, in the Lost Chapters version of the game, it was a lot more complicated. You had to actually do some hero save glitches. Uh, you had to do some collecting of items so that you could you know sell them and stack more money. And it was all kind of part of the whole shindig. This one, you don't have to do any of that, uh, since it's the anniversary version of the game and there is a different trade glitch that you can use. You can start this process immediately once you become a teenager. So all you have to do is walk up to this guy, start trading with him, and we are going to make a couple selections here that are important. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the green apples and you're going to do buy maximum, but you're going to move over to the potions here. You're going to buy maximum 23, and that's going to buy 23 health potions for you. Once you do that, you're going to sell all those potions. You're going to go back over there, and you are going to repeat the process. Right, so sorry, uh, one thing I forgot to do. So anyways, uh, so you buy 34, and then what you do is you sell only one of them back. You don't sell the entire stack back. You sell one of them back, then you repeat the step. You do buy 20... Go over here, buy 20 of them. Uh, it might actually be worth it to sell two of them back, just so you have slightly more money to work with. And you'll see what I mean here. See, now it'll let us grab this whole stack. And we can buy maximum 34. And you're just going to keep doing that. You're going to sell one, or I guess sell two back. And then you're going to go here. You're going to buy 34. Bada bing, bada boom. Another thing you can do is actually buy, you can just buy the apples themselves. And then you can actually do this, sell 115 apples back. And then now you have 115 of these to work with. You buy 115 health potions. And then you sell the, we'll sell 10 of them back, makes it a little bit easier. And then you grab the whole stack again. Basically, you're just doing this back and forth uh, for a while here. And your goal here is to get these resurrection files. Once you get the resurrection files, it's pretty much over. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go here, you're going to go here, you're going to go here. And then once you do that for the resurrection files, you're going to have a fuck ton of money. So that's that's basically the one there. So now you can see we got a fuck ton of money. It's about all she wrote. And just for the sake of things, we're going to buy all of our potions back. Why not? And then, yeah, now we got a bunch of money. So we have basically our choice of whatever we want to buy at this point. I'm going to buy all of the master weapons. Get that longbow too. And then we're going to get... They don't actually have a plate mail chest piece. So you're going to have to go with the leather on this. But every other plate mail piece is there. You can get the plate gauntlets. You can get the plate leggings. And you can get the plate boots. So that's nice. So yeah, sadly that's the best you can do actually is the, you know, everything plate mail except for the chest. And you're going to have to use the leather chest piece. Uh, but yeah, once you have all of your strongest weapons, you're, you're pretty much ready to go. That's, that's all there is to it. Now you can, uh, you can fight Whisper with your crazy equipment and uh, knock her out in one hit basically. I think if I remember correctly... You do have to wait until the special training. I think it only counts... Yeah, it only counts your actual sword hits. So that's a little sad, but whatever. Lucky shot. Well done. Now let's... Alright, now once it gets to the part with the health bar, I believe you can use any weapon you like. I don't know if that is something you can only do with the special training or if you can do it with this one too. I actually haven't tried it yet. I believe once her health bar is out, you can do whatever you want. And boom, the one-hitter quitter. She is done. 
Yeah, she needs to practice. That was pretty weak of her. Alright, then we're just gonna wait for the uh, the special trainer to come, because, you know, same difference. We might as well fight her again. We did all that work to get our strongest equipment in the game. We might as well do the fight again, right? After he takes his sweet time. Right. Let's I have a special Hey. Oh god. Hey yeah. All right. You can stop now. That was very Wow, I still did the A+. Plus. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, but yeah, that's uh that's pretty much it. That's uh that's how to get the you best equipment in the guild stuff. before you even really start the guild training. I mean, I guess like technically you start the kid training, but you haven't even started the 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 teenager training by the time you get all this equipment. So that's that's pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, that's it for this video. Just wanted to show you guys this cool updated method of getting the best equipment in the game before you leave the guild training. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. It definitely helps me out. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to check out any more of this content or any of my other gaming content for that matter. And of course, as always, for as little as 99 cents a month, you can become a channel member, help support this channel monetarily, help me pay some bills around here, that sort of thing. But yeah, with that being said, this has been Plock the Master Gamer with some Fable Anniversary, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.